Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Black Friday haul. I did pick up some things that weekend before when Sephora I think did their 20% off that I'm going to mention. It's just a couple of products. And I do also have some things from TJ Maxx and Marshalls that, you know, they're discount stores so they didn't have like any Black Friday sales. But I did pick some things up from there. But as you guys can see, I've got some Bath & Body Works. I've got some Petco. I've got vacuum cleaners here, shoes, everything. The only thing that I'm not going to be doing is mentioning any gifts that I got just because I feel like you'll tell your family members not to watch your videos. But I feel like they do it anyway. So I will mention maybe a couple of things that I got you know, that were gifts, but I am going to be mentioning everything that I got dad because me trying to look around Northern Tools for the list of everything he gives me is like trying to look for a needle in a haystack, you know, so he just made me a list and went with me and just got everything. So like I said, I am going to go ahead and get started with the makeup first. And then, So starting out, I picked up another of my Viseart. I think they, this just is just their loose powder. It's the only one they've got and I love this powder. If you guys don't know, like I You'll see this in an empties video, but I've gone through a complete powder and like that never happens. I think this is the first time I've ever completely gone through translucent powder, but I did use this today. That's why the top looks gross, but you do just get the netting in here. I just love how flawless this looks underneath the eye. I love how smoothing it just looks all through my face. I love this. And then I did pick up a couple of, of Laneige products. I mentioned these in that skincare video. This was the Fresh Calming Mousse Moisturizer. And I actually haven't tried this yet, but it does come in an aerosol can. So you do have to shake it up. And it's supposed to be for more sensitive skin. And I do have sensitive skin. Also, if you guys kind of see like this redness right here, I actually tried a new like cream to try and help with these breakouts. I right here, these hormonal breakouts and... Yeah, it just gave me a huge rash. I, I think it's because my skin is just so sensitive. I don't think it was the actual product, but you know what I mean? Like, I think it might work for other people. Um, then I picked up the Laneige Toner. So, um, I really like the Belief Toner. That one, I feel like I always go back and repurchase. It's hard to beat it. So, I am excited to try this one out. It's just got a really pretty bottle. It's, yeah, it's plastic. It's not glass. Um, but I am excited to try that out. And then this foundation I have on today, and I freaking love it. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Now, Dior stuff, like, usually didn't work for me because I feel like it has, like, a fragrance, a pretty strong fragrance. But this doesn't have a fragrance at all. It does come, like, in just a bottle like this. And the shade I got is the shade 2N2 Neutral. I definitely feel like I could definitely go with a lighter shade in this. But where it's, like, such a thin formula, I feel like it just blends into your skin. I just, I really like this so far. It's definitely more light to medium coverage, but I will do more, a more in-depth review um, on that later. And then um, I got the Anastasia Sultry Palette, which I love. I think in my last video, um, I was wearing this on my eyes and I freaking love this palette. I think it is so incredibly beautiful. The packaging's really nice. I, whoops. I think this one is limited edition as well. Like I, I feel like every holiday she drops one that's limited edition. And I think when I was looking online, it said that this was limited edition. I definitely think it's worth it because, yeah, it's neutral. But I feel like it's a little bit more on, like, the cooler tone side. And it's just, it's very sultry. I agree with the name of the palette. I thought it was such a good name uh, for the palette. But so far, so good. And then I did pick this up as well. This is the Laneige Kiss and Make Up Set. So basically, this comes with a full-size um, Laneige lip mask. And then you get three other ones. And then you do get, like, a little... Um, spoon up here but if you guys don't know they have an amazing mask this is so great to put on at night before you go to bed um but yeah i think this is great and i also think that this would make a great gift if this is still in stock i like this mask and it's a really good one so i would um recommend it all right so the next thing that i got i guess we're just going to kind of go with just what's sitting right here in front of me so this is from uh, best buy and i picked this up it's an external hard drive um, it comes with like a 32 gig flash drive and it's just a 4 terabyte hard drive. So the reason I got this is the laptop that I have now, I actually use it as a monitor because my monitor messed up, oh my gosh, I don't know, probably like two years ago. And I just didn't feel it necessary when my laptop would, you know, do the same thing. But it it has like no memory. It's like, I've had this laptop since college. So i would really been wanting to invest in one and I was looking at the Surface books and I just, I don't know, the one I ended up going with though, like I said, I did get this, I'm getting off the subject, but the one I did end up going with is this one right here which is actually behind me but it did come in this like big old case and you do actually get a little um like soft case it goes over top of it but this is it right here it's the hp spectra i think it does have a touch screen which i do really like i know some people don't like touch screens with their laptop but 
I actually really like it and it's really nice. It's pretty big. It's a lot bigger than the laptop that I've got now. And so far, so good. So far, I really like it. I feel like it just starts up a lot faster. It runs my programs a lot faster. Um, it just didn't have enough storage space, so that's why I bought the hard drive, the external hard drive to go with it. Because I, laptops are so much more extensive. I feel like when you get like, you know, one terabyte and higher, in my opinion, it makes more sense to get an external hard drive. But right now, Bath and Body Works. So this was when they had their little plugins for three, two dollars, something like that. I can't remember. It was like the weekend again before Black Friday. So many places put their um, Black Friday deals online early or in store early, like for a limited amount of time, which I really liked. So I did pick up two more of these wallflowers just because the time I got in that day, they had like more summery ones. They didn't have any fall ones or any winter like ones left, like with the snowflakes, which is what I wanted. So I ended up just going with these two right here. I do have some summer ones, but these, you know, I'm saying they could be used year round. So I did just pick up two of those. And then I did pick up a bunch of fragrances. I will go through these just really quick. Um, let me see. They're kind of like all mixed up in there. But yeah, so I did get two peach bellinis. This candle smells really good. And I know, again, these aren't very like wintery, wintery or fall, but I love this candle. It's like one of my favorite candles or something bellini, but this smell good, so it smells really good. So um, I didn't want to get that one. And then more for fall related stuff, I did get four of these, I think. Or maybe I just got two. Okay, no, I just got two of these. This is the Cranberry Pear Bellini. I don't know what it is with everything that's got Bellini in it, but it smells really good. I do like stuff that smells sweet and like a food sweetness. Like, I like this, but I'll mention my favorite one here in a second and you guys will see. Like this right here, this is Frosted Cake Pop and this smells so good. Like, the only thing I hate about when I burn their candles especially, or even these, is like, I feel like I get hungrier. Like I'll be sitting there like relaxing on the couch and like I'll say light that candle and then like when it starts burning and filling up the room, I'm like, man, I could really go for a Hershey bar right now or I could really go for a piece of cake. That's just, I don't know, I feel like sometimes it's bad when I light those candles because if I'm trying to eat good and eat healthy and then I light one of those, it makes me want sweets. Alright, so this one I actually picked up by accident because I thought it was one of the these right here, one of the black cherry Merlots. These, I think, in my opinion, make me think of like winter time because I feel like they're subtle, but they still got like that sweet scent to it. And I really, really like um, just the smell of these two as well. And then, like I said, this one was an accident. This is French lavender. I will never use this because I do not like French lavender scented things. I don't particularly like anything with lavender in it in general. Um, I just don't think it smells good in my opinion, but I know a lot of people like it, so. Oh, and then I did have another one of those cranberry pear bellinis. And then lastly, I had to, get, oh, no, okay, so I was bummed out. This is salted caramel. This is one of my favorites. This is bourbon sea salt caramel or caramel, however you pronounce it, wherever you're from. That's one of my favorite candles of all times. I couldn't find that candle this year. I don't know if it was a last year thing or what. And this was the last salted caramel. I was so disappointed because I love this scent. So, and then lastly, which is my favorite candle, it's my favorite wallflower. It's just my favorite everything. And when I was in the store recently, they're actually now coming out with this with a body lotion. This is hot cocoa and cream. I've actually got one of these in the candle version burning in my living room right now. And this is hands down my favorite scent. I love it. It just smells exactly like, you know, those like Candy Kisses, the Hugs one's got like the white chocolate. It smells just like those, except for a little bit chocolatier. And I don't know, I love these. I got four of them. I would have gotten 15, because I think you are only allowed 15. I would have gotten all of those scents or whatever in 15 of those, but I thought that might have been a little bit excessive. But it was a really good deal on my wallflowers. Um, these last, I'd say these last about three weeks. So not too long, but I guess it kind of just depends a little bit, you know, how often you're switching out um, your fragrances and stuff like that. But I thought that was a really good deal on those and those make really good gifts as well. All right, so now for the second bag. I have actually already used some stuff out of here, which I'll tell you guys, but I got the stress relief one and I don't know if I just, if I have a hard time relaxing or what it is, but like, I don't know. They're, to me, these haven't done anything yet, but I have that's with, with the stress relief one. I did pick up the sleep one, which is in lavender and vanilla, and then the lavender and cedar wood. I asked which one she recommended, and she said she couldn't tell a huge difference between these, but she just says when she puts these in, by the time she gets out of her bath or whatever, she just feels like she's ready to just go to sleep. So I did pick up those, and I may, may, I may or may not have got a couple of these for gifts. 
And then I picked up pick, picked up this one. This is peppermint. She says if you get headaches, this is really good. I suffer from migraines and I recently started getting cluster headaches this summer and they are awful. So anything that will give me any relief, I'll definitely take these. Because you know sometimes it's like, especially for those cluster headaches, like they wake you up like while you're sleeping and your head is already like this max excruciating pain. So it's like even though you take something, you know, for it, it still takes that a little while to go through your system. Whereas I feel like you know, getting in like a nice warm bath and stuff like that, you know, works really well. And then I did pick up this one right here. This is the happiness one. And I actually got this one for my mom. I'm not sure, like I said, how well she'll like in this aromatherapy stuff, but I figured I'd just get it for her and give her a try. She already knows that she got that. Um, Cause I was like, which one would you like to have? And she's like, I'll take the happiness one, so. All right, now next is Marshall. So I think I just got one bag from Marshall's. Yeah, and the other is from TJ Maxx. So this is, I'm sorry, I bet that's like really loud on camera. So I picked up this jacket right here. This is by the brand Philosophy. It says that this was $98, it has the original tag on it. I got it for $30, but I thought it was just really pretty. It's got like, I feel like a lot of jackets have like this typical style right here, but it's that very like soft um, suede, like faux suede material. And I thought it was really pretty. They did have like black, purple, I think like green and red, but I have so much like black in my closet. I was like, well, let me just try and get gray so I can just kind of, you know, expand what I've got in my closet. And then I picked up these jeans right here, which I was really excited about. Um, these are Lucky Jeans. The closest Lucky to me is actually an outlet store all the way in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And that's like two and a half hours away from me. So I was really excited to find these. And these were normally, it says on the tech, these are $40. So it still is kind of expensive, but for Lucky Jeans, it's not bad. And this says it was usually 119 I do wear a 25 These, though, are a little bit different. These are skinny jeans, but let's see if I can pull them up right here. So they're that, a little bit more of like that wider. Like, like they're not tight like jeggings. If you are wanting that jegging material, then you won't like these. But they are so soft. Lucky has some of the softest jeans ever. And I love them. I really do think that they're worth the money um, because they do last a really long time. Like, I've probably got some, like, Lucky jeans that I've had since I was, oh, my gosh. I don't know, maybe like first out of high school or something like that. And I've been out of high school since 2009 and they still look really nice. And they just last a long time. So I think that, you know what I'm saying, it is an investment. Um, but always check it like TJ Maxx and Marshalls because you can find pairs like this and stuff like that. But um, I do wear a 25 in case you guys are wondering um, in those. And then I picked this up as well. And again, you'll kind of see I was on that whole... I didn't need black thing and honestly I shouldn't have got this because when I got home and tried it on I didn't necessarily love it as much when I seen it so this is from the brand Romeo and Juliet Couture it says it was normally $155 I got it for $20 I'd never pay $155 for this little jacket but it looks very similar to what I just showed you except it doesn't button or zip up but it's that very soft kind of material again like that suede material um, which I do really like and it is really nice. It does feel really soft, but again, this is something that I'd probably wear more in the fall time, which heck, we're in winter now. It was like 30 degrees right now outside, so. All right, and then I picked these Scooby-Doo socks up and I realized when I got home, these were $2.99. These are kids' socks, but I think my fit feet will still go in them, but. All right, this flannel I'm obsessed with. I've never seen a flannel this color, so this one is by the brand thread and su thread and supply and this is 16 was well, 16.99 it said it was I don't know what it was originally um, but I love this like color on it like this print it's like a light mauve with like blue but a little bit of like camel brown in there it's just so so pretty I love flannels honestly my closet's probably 50% flannels but they are really really nice and that one's super super soft and then lastly I did end up getting a sweater this one is from the brand, let me see, um, Marlid, Marlid, I don't know. This was $29.99, so $30, and this did have the original tag on it as well. This is very big, like I consider this a very like oversized sweater. It's really big and it's really long, but that's the reason that I like it is because it covers my butt completely. Like even when I bend over, you still can't see my butt. So I think that, like I said, this will look really pretty with leggings and some tall boots with some like leg warmers underneath them. I, I have like a whole. All right, now for Petco. So starting out with Petco, I actually got this right here. It says, I find your lack of treats disturbing. They had a really good sale. They had a lot of buy one, get one off 
or buy one get one half or buy one get one free on treats. They had like 50 to 60% off dog beds, fountains, litter boxes, all kinds of stuff. And if you guys didn't know Petco, I actually got an email and they were saying that they are starting at the new year. They will completely have um, only be carrying brands that's got like no artificial flavors or no artificial like um, colors and stuff like that. So I think that's really nice and I hope that encourages other pet stores to do stuff like that as well. But this is just like a little treat can. I've got like five different treat cans and I didn't need this but usually big and spacious but I mean come on like you can't pass that up. Oh and this is like $4.99. After like with their sale and stuff this was just $4.99 and like I said, I, anytime I see anything Star Wars, I have to have it. So, um, I did pick up a dog bed from Tractor Supply. It, it was $10. They still have a sale going on because I looked this morning. Theirs, I wouldn't say, is the best quality for the price. Um, I really got that one there because Zena likes ones that's really fluffy that she can kind of fall down in. Abby, where she's older, she likes something that's a little bit more for firm that kind of gives her some more support. So, um... I did pick up some treats. They did have 50% off, um, so I did pick up their treats. And then I picked up this little toy for Xena. Abby doesn't play with toys. These toys were 50% off, like all their holiday stuff was 50% off, and it does squeak, so. And then I was an idiot, and I got all of these because they were by five, get the six one free. I already give Abby one, she ate them. So these says this was for small breed dogs, but all of these are grain free, but I'll be honest, the names are kind of funny. This one's called Teensy Turducken Recipe. Like, come on, how? I'm sorry, that that's funny. Then we got Itsy Bitsy Beef Stew, um, Tiny Thanksgiving Day Dinner, Dainty Duck Melody, and then Rascally Rabbit Stew. So the names are funny, but I guess that's awful. But um, they did have, like I said, a lot um, on those. And then this leash wasn't on sale, but I decided to get this one because Abby, the one I've got on her now, I ended up getting her a large and it was too big. She's an Australian Shepherd, so I ended up getting a medium medium one, and this is just really pretty. And this is like a very, it's not like a stiff leather. It moves like really easy, so I like Petco. I feel like they've just got a lot bigger options or whatever, but. And then I did pick up these treats because I think these were, um, you buy one, get one free. So I picked up the beef recipe and the chicken recipe. They're made in the USA. They're grain free, made with real chicken and made with real beef. Um, yeah, so, but so far so good. I do have to get Abby soft treats because she cannot have anything super hard. If she's got something that's, you know what I'm saying? You can get some treats that's hard and she'll eat them. But if you get those that are a little more rock hard, she can't eat them. She can't chew like on anything. So these are like stick forms, but they are soft. Like she can eat them. So and so far I've only given her the beef one um, when I got this. But so far so good. She really likes them. So. Alright. Next I actually picked up some shoes. And the box was like this when I got it. It was the last eight that they had. But this is by the brand VOC. This was from Designer Shoes Warehouse. Right now as far as I know. They're still doing their 25% off. If you got the it sent in your email. And you get like a free bag. Like a free duffel bag with it. But I'm super picky about boots. And I know a lot of places had a sale on boots. But these were still kind of expensive expensive because they're expensive to begin with but I have been and looked at these boots probably about three times this year and I could not bring myself to pay I think it's like $80 for these I can't remember but you know I did get 25% off in that weekender bag but I love these I am someone that does like more of like the rounded toe and if you guys can tell but they are like a rounded toe and I just love this style with this like thicker chunkier heel I really like these and yeah so I'm really excited I looked at Belks and I am going to mention some boots that I got there I got some as a gift um, as well as a pair of my own um, but like I said I do really like um, how these felt they were really comfortable and I definitely say they're worth it if you um, have a designer shoe warehouse and you've been thinking about getting them I would get them. All right, now I got some bigger stuff. So if you guys don't know, my vacuum cleaner, I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos. It's just on its last leg. It's the like thing that turns the rotor. It has like two speeds, one that you use just like on hardwood or laminate floor. Then you hit it and like the rotator moves that burnt up. So I did pick up this Dyson V8 Animal one and I have never had a Dyson vacuum cleaner. I've always kind of been a little bit, I guess, loyal to sharks, but I really like this because this is one where you can take off and you, you can see it on here and like use it on your couch and stuff like that. And it's cordless, so I'm excited. I haven't even got this out yet to see if it works. So I did have it delivered to my house because at Best Buy, I think if you were a card member, they did do like their um, things early. I mean, I got an email that said I could shop early uh, before all the sale and on Black Friday was the exact same price that I bought it. But yeah, so 
So far, like I said, I this again was something that was an investment, but like I said, that my last vacuum cleaner was on its last leg, and I was like, I can wait till Black Friday, I can wait till Black Friday. So, um, I've heard really good things about um, Dyson vacuum cleaners, so I'm hoping that that one is good. All right, now I did get a pet bed from JC Penney's, <laughs> and I know, I, I, I mean, I just got one from Tractor Supply, but um, this was pretty good. This was like $19. I can't remember, I think it says regularly $59.99, but um, this one is soft. It's like got a little more firmness to it, but it is soft, so I think that Abby will really like it but I mean I feel like you can't really have too many dog beds and if you ever do have too many you can always donate your lightly used one to an animal shelter or something like that so I did pick this up again I thought this was a really good deal they had I think a tan color as well I feel like you guys there we go it's, it's hard because I forget how close I like how close I am to the camera how far away I am to the camera but I did pick that up and then next we got some um, shirts and I did actually get these as a gift but they already know. So I got two of them. They're the same color and everything. You guys can see, so I'm just going to pull one of them out. But these I think was like $19 or something. And I just love this color. Like, is it not so pretty? These are these are guys' shirts. Um, but I feel like flannels make great gifts because I feel like almost everybody looks good in flannels. And like I said, so many places had sales on flannels. I think like everywhere it did. I did pick up another memory card just because I needed the space um, because like today I'm filming this video and it's already like I said super long and after I film this video it's like I wouldn't be able to film another one without taking that footage and putting it onto my laptop and then coming back and filming again. So yeah I did just pick up another one of those because I needed it and then I did pick up the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and I have played this so I installed it last night and I did play it this morning and I don't know the last Black Ops that I really genuinely enjoyed was Black Ops 2 like my all-time favorite is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 that is just hands down till this day still my favorite I have gotten a little sucked into Fortnite just because I don't know I love Fortnite it is so fun um but yeah so I like this one it's okay I didn't like Ghost last year they did World War 2 I think it was again I like that one pretty good but I just there I don't know I don't love them as much as I used to I don't know what it is I just I don't know there's just something about it that I don't enjoy so I mean I, this one's okay so far like it's okay but I don't love it I guess like I did their older ones all right so next is American Eagle and the only reason I got this is because I had a $15 reward card I had to use but this is just a long sleeve like Henley shirt um, I really like these I like the tank top versions that they had um, this past summer I've got a green one and a black one these are just really cute I can't remember how much this was I think after my card yeah it was like seven bucks by the time I paid for shipping but like I said, it's just really pretty. I did get it in blue. And then um, this next product, okay, so I actually tried these on in Belk. It was from Free People, and I love their bell bottom jeans. Like, I want, but they're like the only place I can find that's got the really big flared jeans, and I wish they would come back so bad. Like, I'm talking about like the crazy ones. It's got the colors and everything. I'd totally wear those. Anyways, the one in Belk's only had regular, so I went ahead and bought those. I was like, mm, I'll just get them hemmed. Well, I got online free people because I just thought that it didn't offer shorts. And they offer offered shorts. So I didn't get free shipping on these. It was like come to $90 for these one pair of pants. And yes, it was stupid. But I love these. And like look how like flared these are. And these are still really long. I am 5'2 and these are still super long on me. When I put heels on, they just barely drag. But it's still, like I said, I couldn't I couldn't wear these with tennis shoes or flat footed. Um, and I, I gotta be honest, for for me, I don't think free people, if I'm being honest, is worth the money for the quality. Like their quality does not blow me away. Like a lot of st their stuff I had, I'd wash once or twice, and I feel like it looked like I'd worn it 50 times. And I just think that they are really expensive. If their quality was a little bit better, I wouldn't care. But to be honest, I mean. I love these jeans and they're the only place you can get flared jeans I feel like so I'm probably going to order some more. There's a pair that's like really flared it's like 128 I just I can't bring myself to do it so. Alright guys so next I actually got this floor mat and this was actually from Kohl's. It's by the, the brand K Care but basically it has like this I'm showing you guys the back. I should be showing you the front, but it's got this like very cushiony feel to it. So if you're someone who doesn't have a dishwasher, dishwashers tore up and you wash everything by hand like me, then your back can kind of start hurting where you're standing up. And I had been eyeing these, but again, I couldn't bring myself to pay almost $60. I think these were like $24.99 if you got them as like the doorbuster. So I did pick up one of those and I may or may not have got 
those for some other people that I know don't have a dishwasher in their life. Um, and then from Best Buy as well, I did pick up another tripod. So hopefully with this tripod, with my next declutter, I'm going to do my blush and my highlighter highlighters. Hopefully I can lean it down so you guys can like see my drawer because I feel like those declutters, a lot of people like those better. So um, I don't know if this is a good brand. I guess I should have done some research, but it was on sale for Black Friday. So I was just like, why not? Why not go ahead and get it? And then I did pick up a PlayStation. So if you don't know, last year we picked up a PlayStation. Um, we used to be an Xbox, you know, kind of people. However, um, my brother convinced me to switch over to PS4, and I'm happy that I did. I do have it out of here. It's empty, so we've already hooked the other one up. Um, but they, they always have a good deal. Like, I don't ever buy, I would never buy another game system until Black Friday got here. And again, this was delivered. Best Buy lets you shot the deals early, which was awesome. Like, the lines this year, I didn't think it was that bad, at least not in my area. Um, but I do enjoy the PlayStation better. I will be honest. Like I said, from someone who's been loyal to Xbox, I, I just, I don't know what it is. I, I think, here's my reasoning. Okay, I had the first ever PlayStation that I ever come out. And I always like their controllers better anyways because I feel like they fit better in my small hands. I don't know. I just, I like it better. I find their like home screen and stuff a little bit easier to maneuver around personally. Um, but it, like I said, I, I do like it and I think that game systems are great to get your brothers, dads, boyfriends, significant others, whoever, uncles. Um, I think that they're really great and I know they're an expensive gift, but again, I still think it's a pretty good one. All right, now I do have some more stuff from the belt. So this is just towels so I did just get a bunch of towels every year I get um I get new towels but I did get this green color I got a total of four I got this really pretty green so I thought it was kind of like holiday-ish and then I did pick up two really pretty dark blue ones these were the ones that were $5.99 I think they had other ones that was $9.99 but these actually last a really long time the ones I got last year they are still like in perfectly good shape like Honestly, I could probably wash them and if they slap a tag on them and they look brand new. So they do last a really long time. And then I also picked up uh, just four washcloths. You can never have too many of these. But um, I do pick towels up every year just because a lot of times they kind of go for the dogs and stuff like that. You know, like drying them off, cleaning their feet off and things like that. So I do like to always have plenty and um, I always wait for, like I said, Black Friday to pick up towels. Alright, so some more stuff from Belks. I actually picked up some more slippers. And I ended up just throwing my other ones away when I was like cleaning out my closet. Just because like I had the ones that had this stuff all the way around that like you slipped your foot in. And I had worn that back edge like pretty much down to nothing. So I wanted to pick up some more. These were supposed to be $30. But I think they were on stuff for, like $9. So I thought that was really nice. And again, these make great gifts <laughs> for just $9. So um, definitely check those out. I think, like I said, Belt still has a lot of sales going on. And then I did get... Oh, a few more things from there as well. I know this is scattered, but the bags are scattered. So, all right, so I picked this up right here. They did have a cat version, which again, like I said, things like these make excellent gifts. The, this stuff was 50% off. This was $20, so it's $10. It's really cute. It says, life is better with a dog. Like, how cute is that? And you do get a journal, a notepad, a silver pen, and a charm. And of course, you do get the mug. I think it's really cool. I also think that like doing these ideas on your own is really cool. Like you could get a mug that said something really cute and then you could fill it with all different kinds of things. These, like I said, I think would make really great stocking stuffers and stuff like that. And then these right here, I'm not gonna pull all of these out, but I did pick up the Christmas Cookie by Philosophy. These were $8, I think so, no, not Sephora. Maybe Sephora? I know Ulta had them, I think, on sale for $12, but Belk still has the best deal. Belk still has the best deal. They're $9 right now instead of $8. Um, this smells so good. This is the my favorite one. Oh, man. Yeah, these smell so good. I love these. I actually use these as bubble baths. I don't use these as, like, body washes. I use them as bubble baths, but they do smell, like, really, really good. And, um, like I said, they make great gifts, great stocking stuffers, or... I think that those make great gifts as well if you have several things, like you have a lot of people you have to buy for, you know what I mean? Like, it's like a really nice gift to put in conjunction with something else. So definitely check those out because they were still on sale when I looked. All right, I also did pick this up at Sears and this is actually gonna be a gift as well, but I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it was super cute. So 
This is just a little, I mean, they have these everywhere, but I think Sears had the cheapest deal. Um, these are a little bit smaller. These are were $7, $7.99. They used to be $5.99 is what they were all the other Black Fridays before, so they've definitely gone up. But again, these are really great. I feel like, you know, you can't go wrong with getting somebody a blanket. Like, I have them everywhere. I've got one in my recliner, two on my couch, several on my bed. I just, again, I like them. I also have several in my car for my dogs to lay on. Um, but Sears did have a really good deal, but Kohl's had a good deal as well. I thought I had some more stuff from Kohl's, but oh well. Alright, now going on to Target, this is where I did start getting some stuff for Dad. So, I was really disappointed because of the color that I got, but this was the only color that was left by the time I got there. So, he actually broke his, and he's wanting something to keep his water cold. The one he's got is massive, though, but I just couldn't find those. But it says that it keeps it cold for 24 hours, and it keeps it hot for 10 hours. Should have got me one of these now that winter's here, but um, I really like, like I said, the whole idea. I just didn't like the color. Um, it just screws off and stuff like that, so... Um, but again, these make great gifts. I think these were on sale for $14.99, I think. The SIP brand ones, which were smaller, I think was a little more expensive, but this is the one I wanted here on the back. The, like, marbled, marbled one, but it's okay. Like I said, he'll be happy with this. It's blue. You know how men are. They don't, they don't care. They don't care as long as it functions. All right, and then I'm not going to pull these jeans out of here, but I did get him two pairs of Wrangler jeans. They had them on sale for $15. Um, it's just really nice work jeans. It's what he likes to work in. Of course, like I said, he's got like insulated pants from winter time and stuff, but you know, those will be fine for him in the summertime, so. All right, more stuff from Belks. I did get my dad a wallet because he said he needed two belt, or like a dress belt and then like a work belt or whatever, so I ended up just getting him two dress ones because it was buy one, get two free or something like that. And um, I basically got him a thicker one that's reversible and then like this thinner black one. Um, and they're both reversible, so one side is black and one side is brown. Um, and then um, just a typical black wallet. Again, this is a really good deal. Buy one, get two free. I thought that was really good. Um, and it just opens up like this. And like I said, I feel like guys' wallets are one of those things that like they never think to get for themselves and they pull out their wallet and it looks like it's 100 years old. I think, like I said, wallets definitely make good gifts because I feel like guys... They buy one. It's like one and done. You know what I mean? Alright. Oh, and then lastly from Kohl's. I think this is it from Kohl's. This was $8.99, I think. So a dollar more than the Sears one, which I don't know where I just put it, but and a lot bigger. So and I actually never tried any of Kohl's clothes, so I didn't get I only got this one sweater to try it out and see how the quality is. I just I didn't feel like in my opinion I was I think I'm not that much drawn to clothes because my closet's so full right now. I really want to start doing that when you buy one item, you get rid of one, right? Or is it you buy one, you get rid of two other things. I can't remember what it is, but I just got this really pretty red sweater. I think that this will look really good um, with those clear jeans. So, like I said, I'm going to get my use out of this $70 some dollar jeans. So, yeah, that's all I got from Kohl's. They have... All right, so really quick, I'm not pulling all these pillows over here, but I did get these pillows over here. They're $2.99. They're actually really, really good quality pillows. They hold their firmness. I got some last year, and those two pillows, like I said, I... I think I, well, I probably had them in there for about five months because I do like to change my pillows about every twice a year. I know, I think it's every three months, right? But I just do mine twice a year. Um, but so far, like I said, they're holding up. It's all, They feel just as good as these, like brand new ones. So I think I got six of these. Yeah, two, four, six. Yeah, there's two in each bag. So I did get several of these. Okay, so then I got me a comforter and I wanted the lighter one. But the only thing with like getting light stuff like that is I feel like it shows up dog hair and stuff really easy. So I ended up just getting this gray one and this is super soft so I just needed another one it's like $59 these sold out pretty quickly online because JCPenney did their stuff early online as well and like by the time I got the email and got off work and was looking this was already sold out because I would have ordered all my stuff online all right so I'm having to stand up because these next things are so big so I ended up picking this up from Lowe's I picked up this one and again I may or may not have got a, another one for a gift for somebody else but it is really cute I've been eyeing this for a really long time it's usually $100 and like I said it was $59 um, it's just really cute. These doors actually open up and like I said, this isn't real, but the heat comes out of the bottom right here. These, I think, again, will make excellent gifts because I feel like everybody needs heaters, you know what I mean? Like, especially this time of the year, if you live, you know, in an area where it's cold. But I did pick up a few of these. <laughs> so, again, I'm having to stand up because this is another heavy one. 
Um, but I did get my dad this work stool just because in his woodworking shop, he's literally sitting on a hard wooden one. So I thought this was really good. It's the only place I felt like I could find one around me where I could pick it up. So just a little cushiony stool um, that I got from Northern Tools. So I did pick that up for him. All right, so I did get him one more chair, which I'll show you guys. I'll have to take the camera over there because it's too heavy, but from Northern Tool as well, I picked him up two of these um, impact socket sets or whatever, one standard, one's metric. Um, uh, you know, this again, just tools. I feel like that, I feel like dads are easy. She'd be like, what do you want? He'll be like, tools, and be like, well, what tools do you want? You can write them down and go pick them up. And then um, these right here I picked up as well, and these make really great stocking stuffers. Um, especially for even like a young boy, anybody who works on like any kind of mechanics and stuff or anything like that, um, or woodworking around the house where they're going to be using screws. These are like magnetic. So anytime that, like I said, um, they're like unscrewing stuff, instead of putting it in their pocket and it falling out and stuff like that, you can just put it in these and they stick right in here and stay in here. I think these are great. I think these are buy one, get one free, which is what I did. Um, they didn't have very many of these left, which sucked, but I would like to get a lot more. Because again, you can do, give those to uncles. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Anybody. And then I did pick this up for myself. This is a wireless motion alert. And long story short, since this video is hella long already, um, Zena stays out on the front porch while I'm gone because she'll destroy everything in my house. And like I said, on the porch, she has shelter and everything like that. Um, she's not out in the weather. Well, FedEx put a package up there with her and she destroyed it. That was a whole process. Well, I put a sign out there that said, please leave packages at the back door. Do not put on porch. UPS ends up delivering a package and putting it on the front porch. But luckily, I got to it in time where she didn't destroy that one. But I was at work that other day. so. Um, but I'm hoping to put this at the end of my driveway, like I said. And if I hear UPS come up, um, you know, it'll like let me know. So I can go ahead and be, like I said, walking outside. Or, you know I'm saying, something like that. And get to my package before in case it's raining or the weather's bad and things like that. Alright guys, so that chair I ended up getting, it's by the brand... Real space. It was the bronze one. It was $79 on Black Friday at Office Depot. I just, like I said, I'm wore out, like stepping, getting all this stuff. But this is the last thing I got. And I got two pairs. These are by Tommy Hilfiger. And I think these are considered like duck boots or something. I don't know. To be honest, I don't think they're that cute, but they are so warm. I got these, this pair for myself. Um, these are so incredibly warm, but you actually got to get these early as well, which is what I did. And I did get an olive green pair for my friend. The only reason I'm mentioning it is because she knows because I had to know her size and I, I was asking her what color she liked and she did pick up the olive color, which honestly I like as well, but I feel like black was just a little bit more universal and it goes with everything. But again, these are hella warm. They're really nice. They're not as like insulated as warm as like muck boots. Like those in the wintertime, I can wear those and my feet will be like sweating within minutes, but they are still really nice. Like I said, I think they're a little more stylish than those big thick muck boots, but yeah, guys, that is it for my Black Friday haul. I would love to know what you guys picked up for Black Friday. I'd also love to know what you guys think are great gift options for people as well. Like I said, I got most of my gift shopping done. Um, I'm just waiting on a couple of items to get in that I ordered online. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.